Ming, a question for you first off. Who would win in a fight, Mulan or Fennec? If Fennec had her sniper rifle, then yeah, maybe Fennec, but uh, d- depends on what kind of fight, right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Could go yeah, a lot right. of ways. But, um, did either of you think that you were going to be back in the world of Star Wars? I mean, even Ming, you were killed off in season I one, know. you know, obviously, Tim, you've been off the grid for longer. Did you ever think you were going to come back? Uh, no, but I was praying, praying to the force and uh, so happy, so very happy. And, and to get to be partnered up with the legendary Tim Muero Morrison. <laughs> aka Boba Fett it uh it's really surreal it was a dream yeah no I didn't think I'd be back uh, after the attack of the clones and playing Django I had uh, no idea that uh, this would come to fruition but um I did hear rumors uh when the uh, actually I didn't hear any rumors but I heard about the Mandalorian mm-hmm. and that kind of world so uh there was like a uh a, a tinge of hopefulness, I guess, uh, that someone may ring. And, uh, um, but yeah, that was about it. But uh, there was no kind of thing. But then when I did the meeting with John Favreau and Dave Filoni, um, he outlined a few things. So yes, very excited just to make that comeback, um, especially in The Mandalorian and get to meet uh, everybody again. And then um, uh, having this book of Boba, you know, come to fruition as well was just just even amazing yeah. and way cool way cool well, way cool yeah I, I can imagine uh boba fett's ship has been stripped of of its name so i was wondering have you guys given any thought to what what we could call boba fett's ship now i think we call it the fire spray i think i've mentioned it in a couple of episodes yeah. i think fire spray i think it is a gunship now that's what we're calling it we're the calling gunship. it a fire spray gunship yes <laughs> I love it. Well, without yes. spoiling anything, we've only seen two episodes. What are you most excited about fans seeing in the the coming episodes of Book of Boba Fett? Well, I just think we've been quite blessed that we actually didn't see Boba Fett do too, too much. much. So, yeah. so it gives the John and the writers and Dave and all them scope. It gives them, uh, um, and this is where they're very, very clever. And, you know, because they have to make everything kind of make sense in the Star Wars uh, world. In the Star Wars saga, so you know, tying all those things together and creating this uh, series and placing it where you know within the uh, the whole Star Wars time frame was just incredible. But um, and that took a lot of uh, thinking and a lot of uh, um, uh, workshopping and meetings, I'm sure. But uh, I guess we're kind of blessed that Dave Filoni too. You know, he's like the you know, he's got the uh, the mantle. He's got George Lucas's respect. So uh, we're very, very blessed there. And um, him and John have worked so well together, uh, you know, to, to yep. put all the pieces together. And now we can explore what's happened to Boba and uh, bring it to the world. We've only had episode two, but it's going to, I think, uh, just quietly, it's going to get bigger and better. Oh, yes. I can't yes. wait. Well, thank you guys so much. It was such a thrill to get to chat with you. Thank, thank you very you. much for your time. Bye. Really appreciate Bye. it. Bye.